Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the Technical Trader. It's Tuesday, September the 7th. These are the charts of the day. On the long side today, I now I promised you doing some shorts, but I wanted to show you how many how many of the uh, uh, longs were still looking good. Here's uh, Almond and Minerals, AAU, which popped, flag, popped, flag, and it popped again. It could flag again, but still momentum strong enough to get this one into the three and a half range short term and perhaps even as high as five intermediate term. Arena Farm had a significant day today, popping 48 cents on 14 million shares, 7%, but more importantly, breaking out of this coil that, or that it formed uh, and picking up some steam here. So we may see a quick test of $8 rather shortly, maybe even tomorrow, uh, depending on marketing conditions, of course. But the momentum is strong on this one, and we could see 9.5 or 10 on an intermediate basis. Secondary target. BioVail had a stellar session up nearly 10% on 7 million. That's the heaviest volume in about six, seven weeks. Stock jumped 229, nearly 10%, and more importantly, after a couple days of flagging, exploded uh, and is now about to test the 27.5, 28 trading target that we had set up for you guys a couple weeks ago. Beyond that, something in the low 30s may be doable. China Medical had a significant price volume thrust today and broke out across the key resistance level that had been enforced for about the last... 10 months um, with a surge in the closing of the high for the day up $1.17 or 10% on 916000 It appears that this stock could move now and test that 13 14 zone on a short term basis. 13 and a half, let's call it 14 and a half <clears throat> at these highs in here as a trading target right there. Next up is Hook Craft Brewers which has been a stellar uptrend for the last four weeks. You can see this beautiful channel stair-stepping its way higher nearly every day. Uh, it appears that the initial target around eight, eight and a quarter could be hit rather shortly. Secondary target at nine and a half, ten. Insulon Systems, ISLN, also had a good day today up a dollar forty-three on one more than one and a quarter million shares. Volume picked up a little bit. Technicals are surging. It's not reached the top of its um, channel over the last couple of years and if it accelerates here you could see it spike up and my target around 28. Jinko Solar JKS continues to motor higher a sharply rising channel. You'll see that the uh, pattern here sh stair stepping its way higher just broke out above this wedge pattern. Fine has picked up dramatically the last three days so if technicals looks like this may be headed into the mid 30s short term. Creighton Performance Polymers, KRA, broke out of this wedge recently, started moving steadily higher. Today accelerated a bit up 90 cents um, and uh, set a new high, maybe headed to our, for a test at the top of the channel around the uh, $30 range, 29 three quarters, 30. That should be shortly. If it accelerates through that, 33. Heads up on Netlist. Netlist broke out of a five week declining channel today, popped with volume. That was the heaviest volume it's traded in about the last uh, five weeks. I move up to test the 355.60 area, maybe even as high as 390 with five would be a secondary target, but um, I'm looking for uh, an extended move here. If we get a follow through, that'll be key. Radcom, thin but steadily higher every day. Uh, as you can see, moving uh, in a nice upper, upper progression with increasing technicals. 49 cents or 5% today, making more new multi year highs. That's the highest level reached since 06, four years. Continues to move, and projecting around 13 in this stock. RE, R E E, rare element. Also, a very strong move underway here. As you can see, the stock popped, formed a three day pennant, popped out of that Friday. Follow through on Thursday, yeah, Friday, and follow through today of another 53 cents or 10 percent. Volume was the biggest volume we've seen ever since the stock's been trading, and it looks like with momentum uh, in play here that this stock could reach six, six and a quarter tomorrow, maybe seven in the next couple days. VHC Ver Vernitex, um, after popping and flagging, then popped on Friday and followed through today with another 37 cents or 4 percent. Volume was solid. Stock looks like it wants to move higher. Top of the channel calls for a move up near 14. 
uh, we'll set that as an intermediate target and a short, short term target, about 11, 12 zone. And that's it for some of the long ideas tonight. I hope you weren't too disappointed with the uh, lack of shorts. We'll definitely cover the short side tomorrow. Bye bye.